These days, the Brahmaputra appears quiet, flowing gently towards the Bay of Bengal. This enormous river is literally a lifeline to millions of people living along its banks, providing abundant fish and water for irrigation. But during the monsoon, the Brahmaputra often overflows, turning into a river of sorrow, especially for the people of Assam in northeastern India. Floods here are so common that they are hardly covered in the news. Every year, hundreds of people lose their lives and thousands are displaced. Property and crops worth millions are damaged, and land erosion is such that entire villages often have to be shifted. उसको बोलता है हातेमा हातेमा से वो ऐसे नदी काट के हम लोग को बोलते हैं कि वो मतलब हम लोग रिजर्व में आ गया एक तो रिजर्व था नाम उसका वही का बाद में वो हमें काट के फिर लेके आया इधर में यह हमें लेके आया यह का बाद में और फिर यह से काट देगा तो फिर हम लोग को पूरा अंदर तक जाने पड़ेगा Dan Church Aid's local partner Kasa has witnessed this massive erosion throughout the region जब हम वो आए थे हम 2010 जुलाई में उस समय का स्थिति बहुत अच्छा बहुत था बहुत अच्छा था वो चौर पहले से बहुत बड़ा था कि जब ये दो साल में इतना एरोसिन हुआ है वो चौट कम लाइल मतलब आहिस्ता आहिस्ता छुट्टा हो जाता है In 2012, the impact of the monsoon floods was particularly severe in Assam, as huge areas were inundated several times in a span of only a few months. This year there are two. Uh, Wave of floods, the initial stage. Then another flood wave came in the month of September, and these three consecutive floods made people's life miserable. Barpeta was one of the most affected districts. This village, for example, was inundated on all three occasions, making life for its residents particularly difficult over a prolonged period of time. Mohila Dharanar, Persa Bai Khanar Karone, it too becomes very difficult. আর থাকাটো বিটু তো আছে খাওয়া দোয়া লান রান্ধা বড়া লেখা বড়া আর থাকা মেলা পেশাব পায়খানা এবর অসুবিধা হয় থ্রু ইটস লোকাল পার্টনার কাসা টান চার্চ হেজ হ্যাজ বিন ওয়ার্কিং ইন বারপেটা সিন্স 2007 উইথ দ্য সাপোর্ট অফ দ্য ইউরোপিয়ান কমিশনস হিউম্যানিটারিয়ান এইড ডিপার্টমেন্ট ইকো ইট প্রোভাইডেড ইমার্জেন্সি রেসপন্স ইন দ্য এরিয়া ডিউরিং দ্য 2007 এন্ড 2008 ফ্লাডস A preparedness program was then started to reduce the risk of disasters by building the local community's capacities in order to make them more resilient to these recurring floods. Safe shelters and high-raised platforms were built, communities were trained, and task forces formed. These initiatives are now paying off. During the 2012 floods, the local people were much better prepared to withstand the shock. Evacuation strategies were in place. enabling people to take shelter in the nearby temples and mosques in an organized manner the task forces immediately shifted people to safe shelters and high rise platforms and all villagers knew particular attention had to be given to the most vulnerable members of the community starting within their own families gaur pora moi bura manuhok ta mane uddhar koribo lage korisu bampanir samayot aro garbhavati mahila ase In other words, the adapted infrastructure and simple mechanisms put in place over the years may not prevent the floods themselves, but their impact is considerably mitigated, enabling local communities to recover much faster. ये पर जब नहीं होता, तो यहाँ का भूखमर ज़्यादा बढ़ जाता, चोरी छिनचाई होता, और गांव यहाँ से जो यंग लोरा, जो लड़का लड़का की बुजुर्ग आदमी बाहर जाना पड़ता। ये जो प्रोजेक्ट हुआ तो गांव का आदमी गांव में रहा बाहर नहीं गया सबसे बड़ा फायदा एरिया का हुआ जे माइग्रेट कम हो गया ये काम नहीं होने से मैक्सिमम लोग यहां से माइग्रेट होते फॉर मोस्ट पीपल लिविंग इन बारपेटा फिशिंग इज द ओनली सोर्स ऑफ लाइवलीहुड्स दिस मींस अ वास्ट मेजॉरिटी ऑफ पीपल लूज देयर सोर्स ऑफ इनकम ड्यूरिंग द फ्लड्स As part of DCA's response to the 2012 floods, alternative income generation activities such as cash for work programs were therefore introduced. This not only enabled villagers to meet the immediate needs of their families through daily wages, but also contributed to enhancing their resilience. As once again, the collective work focused on projects meant to reduce the impact of future floods. 
River embankments and approach roads were repaired, high-raised platforms were built, and the houses that had to be rebuilt were placed on elevated plinths. When we were in the first place, we were able to do a lot of work. We were able to do a lot of work. We were able to do a lot of work. We were able to do a lot of work. Floods are not new in Assam. People here have been affected by them for centuries. And chances are that with the effects of climate change, they will become more frequent and possibly more intense. Given the magnitude of the problem, thousands of hectares of land will inevitably continue to be washed away by the Brahmaputra. But year after year, the local communities are able to better withstand the challenge they are faced with, thanks to raised awareness and simple capacity-building measures that lessen the impact these recurring disasters have on their lives. This, they say, is helping them regain their confidence and has become their ray of hope. Manu hai manu hok besi bokhuji Manu hai manu hok kini bokhuji Manu hai manu hok besi bokhuji Manu hai manu hok kini bokhuji Uroni iti hak duhari le Ul janu no ho bokwa Pamoniya Manu hai manu har baar